the sands of time are now yours to shape. It falls upon you to architect a new history. The fate of all realms in my hands? Raiden, I cannot do this alone. I shall advise you for as long as my mortality allows. But have no doubt, you are up to the task. Then together, let us begin. Doom us all. Deceit. We will not hear it. In defeating Kronika, you destroyed her crown. Without it, you can't restart history. The hourglass will shatter. All realms will be lost. Fujin, is this true? Kronika's every action was taken to ensure her crown's preparation. She would not dare to restart history without it. Kronika came to each of us. For our help, she offered places in her new era. For refusing her, we were banished to a void beyond time. We could observe the events leading up to your siege of the Keep, but we were powerless to intervene. But then you killed Kronika. The void seal was broken open, permitting our escape via the Hourglass. If you know so much about the Hourglass, how do you propose I reset the timeline? With the crown. The crown is destroyed. Only in our present, not in our past. And while I cannot restart history without the crown... You can send travelers back into the current timeline. I see. I must return to the moment before Kronika's defeat. End that battle differently, so that her crown remains intact. That leaves too much to chance. Kronika must never possess the crown. Otherwise, you cannot guarantee victory. What do you propose, sorcerer? That you send me into the past to steal the crown from my island before Kronika sends Cetrion to claim it. I'll then deliver it to Lord Raiden, and together we'll defeat Kronika. With the crown and hourglass under our control, we can restart history safely. <laughs> Why are we listening to this snake? Because I am a snake who's toiled beside Kronika, learning her secrets. I know them. Do you? He has a point, Raiden. Put it. A word? How is it you conspire against Kronika? Did her promises of grandeur not suit you? She wanted me to be her pawn, not her partner. She sculpted my entire existence to serve her, to collect souls for her crown. When my purpose was served, she betrayed me, casting me into the void. Your grievance does not fool me, Shang Tsung. Then trust that we have a shared interest in breaking Kronika's stranglehold on our destinies. Inevitably, our interests will diverge. This alliance is temporary. Have no illusions otherwise. I understand your misgivings, but it is the only way. But the risk, Liu Kang, will be rewarded. 
Say nothing to Nightwolf. We will proceed with your plan, Shang Tsung. I must stay behind to operate the hourglass. But Nightwolf and Fujin will go with you to supervise. I welcome the assistance. I will join you. No, Raiden. I need your counsel here. Have faith in Fujin and Nightwolf. If I have faith in anyone, it is you, brother. I will try to send you back to the Time Merger. You should have enough time to claim the crown before Cetrion delivers it to Kronika. Your confidence is inspiring. As the Keeper of Time, I am still a novice, Nightwolf. May the Great Spirit protect us. Too long at this pretender's hands, but I've returned and I will save you from his madness. Only I can rebuild the empire. All realms will tremble before me. Outworld will again be conquered, never the conquer. was an unholy monster. Exactly like you, father. When have we arrived? Immediately after the time merger, yes? The battle between Kotal and Shao Kahn. No, look! It's much later than that. This is Kitana's battle with Shao Kahn. Then we're almost out of time. We must escape quickly. Changing this battle's outcome could cause Cetrion to claim the crown earlier than expected and guarantee our failure. Let's go!